Hello, welcome back to another edition of Electric TV. As always, I'm your host, Dominic Tiritano, coming to you from City Hall Plaza in San Francisco, California, where the NECA IBEW team recently completed an illumination retrofit project to make sure that City Hall is visible day and night. Light has the capability to create emotion in, in really powerful ways that are sometimes unanticipated. It's kind of made the feature lighting a public gathering place that excites people to see the capabilities and see possibility to affect change. The old lights were just the old fashioned dumb lighting system that just turned on from a relay. And some poor electrician had to go run around for three days to put a gel on every old white light fixture on this building to turn the building giant's orange or warriors blue and gold. And there's a lot of Pacific pride that goes into that. The new system is intelligent lighting where it is actually computer controlled and programmed. So that's a whole different engineering scheme. This computer is the control and design console for the lighting system. Through this, we can program any of the lights individually or in groups, any color of the rainbow to come on at any time that we want. Over the course of a year or so, we did many different mock-ups trying to just retrofit one for one the fixture from where they had the location to, to put our fixtures in the same place. But that's a bit of a challenge because LEDs are, are different sources than traditional lighting sources. City officials themselves can interact with the system and how they can quickly adapt to changing political conditions. So in this case, the solution was a system that allowed um, wireless access so that they could, from anywhere in the world, remotely log in and then change the colors on the exterior of the building. And now, the touch of a button and it's ready to go. We often uh, light the building in different color patterns for different kinds of civic events, uh, perhaps most famously um, our annual Gay Pride Parade. Emergency Responder Week, where they use a blue and white coloration and the very top of the building rotates slowly as if it was uh, an old school red light on top of a fire engine. There was a huge response um, when uh, the artist Prince died and the building was colored Prince Purple specifically to memorialize his passing. So in that way, it allows City, SF City Hall to have a greater connection and presence globally as conditions change and unfold. I manage the facility. Um, I work with all the trades and the maintenance crafts. Um, I coordinate construction projects, project management, and oversee overall maintenance of the building. It's absolutely crucial to have a crew that's you know professional and they know the building. They reached out to us and asked if we were interested in bidding on this uh, project, uh, and we did, and we uh, we won the award big footprint job. There are some uh, logistics as far as it being a historical relevance to the city, um, how to get all our infrastructure in place, um, how to get material in and out of the building, because this is a fully functioning government building. Coordinating times that we could be in certain places, get our material, 75 pound fixtures up to the lantern level and, and above. Yeah, spiral staircase, carrying them. I had a couple guys almost collapse on the stairs. I mean, we were working hard, you know, getting them up there. That, that was the biggest challenge, how to get to some of these areas without destroying walls and opening up the historic and, and decorative corridors. We had to demo out a little over 200 fixtures, and we installed 177 fixtures along with a uh, new control system that was not on board at the time of the design. The data enabler allows then power to come in, um, standard wiring, and then a data to come in. So that comes in and then we send from there out using any system that you want in the field, like a flexible conduit for wires. So one of them is dedicated to data, which makes it a system that's robust. This had a mixture of like kind of sheer grunt labor and it had a lot of controls and more hands-on, detail-oriented, knowledge-based stuff. So it had kind of a full spectrum. Well, the IBEW and NECA promote work with the city. They have a great partnership with the city, but uh, Paganini Electric 
has a 20-year relationship with the city doing work with them and uh, we're very proud of the uh, relationship we have. It turned out great. Paganini did a great job um, working with their foremans, very well-knowledged, uh, professional manner. Uh, we had to, there's a lot of coordination involved with getting into access in some of the city attorney spaces, the mayor's office, of course. So for them to work around our crazy schedule, I mean, it really made a big difference. Especially on a project with an accelerated schedule where it, the, the opening day cannot slip, you really need a team that communicates and works together closely. And Paganini and, and Ron did a fabulous job of working with us. These guys were attentive. We often refer to everybody involved as the dream team. So we were very fortunate. Not all jobs get that opportunity. So we we're lucky to have that here. The consistency of how each element is lit is a testament to the, the great work that, that they did. So it was a fantastic collaborative process. I've worked with Paganini on quite a bit of projects, very extensive projects, so uh, knowing them coming in, I felt very comfortable with them taking on this project. That's all for this edition. Thanks for the click. Be sure to check us out on social media, Facebook and Twitter for behind the scenes extras and industry information. From San Francisco, California and City Hall Plaza, this is Dominic Giratano saying, illumination just isn't about light anymore. For more on this story, read the September 2015 issue of Electrical Contractor Magazine.